Hey everyone, as you know, WordPress 5.9 is here. And if like me, you use Elementor for your page building and WooCommerce and other integrations like that, you're probably wondering, will WordPress 5.9 break my website? I am gonna test it out on one of my staging sites. Uh, it's the site I use for all my YouTube videos. It has all of my uh, plugins that I tend to use. So if it breaks, it's gonna give me a pre-warning onto one of my other sites. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now with any plugin or major update that comes along, even if it's just with Elementor or any add-ons you use, we always recommend you have a backup copy we use all-in-one uh, WP migration. We also have SiteGround, so we have daily backups there. There's Updraft Plus, and there's other systems that you can use as well. Make sure you do that. And ideally test on a staging site as well, especially if your website is live right now, so a shop. Of course, if you've got a backup, you could restore it, but you could lose five minutes here or there with it restoring. So please make sure you have a backup, really important. So if you're doing any updates, even Elemental, make sure you do that right. We're now gonna click update and I will tell you how long it took to update. Ha, that only took like a few seconds, not even that, probably one second. So what we're now told with 5.9 is that we have a lot more site editing facilities available. Now, if you use a page builder, you're not gonna be worried too much about this. However, before we look at Elemental and the pages I normally have, let's just double check if it changes anything in the WordPress posts. It looks to me to be the same really. Um, the same as what we had before. Um, you know, we have, you still have the icons over there. You can still browse for features. So I'm not seeing anything massively different. And to be honest, I just use this if I'm gonna write my post and my images and stuff like that. I'm gonna let Elemental handle that. So, so far, so good. So I'm on one of our test pages and everything is working okay. Even when I go to the shop, that's all fine. You know, I can add to cart, nothing. I mean, this is a fake. I'm not gonna buy all of these items, okay? So everything is working fine, and I have already tested the PayPal bit, that's okay as well. And when working with an Elemental page, everything is still coming through okay. So if I wanna add in some widgets or features or whatever, I can do. Things are coming through fine. Hey, I just wanna let you know that 5.9 is okay. So I found an issue and I had a video where I've deleted that video. So this is the updated version you're seeing now in case you saw the previous one. If you never saw the previous one, you don't need to worry about what I'm talking about but there was an issue with scrolling effects. Now I downgraded 5.8 and then I re-upgraded again just to test out what's going on here. And now it's fine. So I don't know if there was a problem with my machine or what, there have been other people reporting this issue as well. So if I downgraded to 5.8 and back up to 5.9 and now my scrolling effects are totally fine. So to summarize, when I've tested out Elemental and 5.9 WordPress, it is now working okay, everything's fine. The parallax or the scrolling effects, motion effects, everything is okay. I haven't had any issues with templates, headers or footers or anything like that either. So if you have got a backup or a staging site, test out on there first, make sure everything's okay, and then crack on with your website. So WordPress 5.9 actually is okay. So the issue before, and I feel like such a prat, but the issue before with the scrolling effect is now not there because I downgraded back to 5.8 and then re-upgraded to 5.9. But just to let you know, it's good to do. So hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you soon.